return and tell the rain. I am putting together a special team and I need me eight soldiers. Eight Jewish American soldiers. Now, you all might have rumors about the Armada happening soon. Well, we'll be leaving a little earlier. They're gonna be dropped down into France dressed as civilians. And when we're down there in the enemy territory, we're gonna be doing one thing and one thing only. You're the Nazis. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I sure as hell didn't come down all the way through Sicily, jump down from the fucking airplane to teach Nazis a lesson in humanity. Nazis. Ain't got no humanity. They are the foot soldiers of Bush whacking Jew hating mass maniac and they need to be destroyed. Now, I'm the direct descendant of a mountain man, Jim Bridger, which means I got a bit of Indian in me, and our battle plan will be that of an Apache resistance. We're gonna be cruel to the Nazis. And through our cruelty, they will know who we are. And the Germans will see the traces of our cruelty in the disembowered, dismembered, and disfigured bodies of their brothers we're gonna leave behind us. And the Germans will be sickened by us. And the Germans will talk about us. And the Germans will fear us. Sounds right! That's what I'd like to hear. But I got a word of warning for all you would-be soldiers. When you join my command, you take a debit. A debit you owe me. Personally. Each and every man under my command owes me 100 Nazi scalps. And I want my scalps. And you're gonna get me those hundred scalps taken from the heads of 100 dead Nazis. Or you gonna die of trying. She's a job, she's a career, she's a family, she's a fucking big child. She's washing machines, cars, compact displays and electrical gene operas. She has good health, long cholesterol, and dental insurance. She's fixed in just mortgage payments. She's at her home. She's the friends. She's the legend and the matching luggage. She's a strictly suit on her purchase in a range of fucking fabrics. She's the guy. I'm wondering who the fuck you are on Sunday morning. She's sitting on that couch watching mind numbing spirit crushing game shows. Start taking some food into your mouth. Just reaching away at the end of your job. Listen, you're lost in a miserable home. Nothing more than embarrassment. For the selfish factor brands, you spoke to replace yourselves. Choose your future. Choose life. But why would I want to do a thing like that? I chose not to choose life. I chose something else.
Zero, you went into the semis. You smear, man. Liam and me, we're gonna fuck you up. Let me tell you something, pendejo. You pull any of your crazy shit with us, you're gonna piece out of the lanes. I'll take it away from you and stick it up your ass and pull the fucking trigger until it goes click. You said it, man. Nobody fucks with each other. Obviously, the big dick. And they stiff. Inside of you, I have balls. There are two types of balls. There are big, brave balls. And there are little, mincy, fatty balls. Of course, the dick himself has a clear vision. But he has no brain. He smells a pussy. 
and he wants a piece of the action. And you thought you smelled some good old pussy here. And you think it was some good old time. But you're wrong. There is no pussy here. Just some facts that make you wish you were born a woman. Now, there's... You're shrinking. And the little balls are shrinking with you. Do you know why? That's because you get a replica written down inside of your gun. And I got Desert Eagle. On five oaks. Written down inside of mine. Now, gentlemen. Get the fuck out! to write this moment. Her Chamberlain thinking, Impotent Mozart, I must speak to Emperor at once. Her perfect thinking, Ignorant Mozart, debasing opera with his vulgarity. Her court composer thinking, German Mozart, what he finally know about music. And Herman Mozart himself, in the middle thinking, I'm just a good fellow. Why do they all disapprove of me? And that's why opera is important. Because 
It's really than life. A dramatic poet would have to put all those thoughts down one after another, just to represent this moment. But the poet can put them down at once and still make us hear each one. Astonishing device, voice quartet, then becoming acquainted, then a sextant, on and on, wider and wider, all the sounds multiplying and rising together, and then together creating the sound entirely new. And then that's how God hears the world. Millions of sounds mixed in his ear just to become the unending music, unimaginable to us. We composers, and that's our job to combine the inner world of him and him and him and to turn the audience into music. I talk nonsense all day. My tongue is stupid. My heart isn't. Once upon a time, deep, deep in the jungle, there was a little engine that could chugga, 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 chugga. This little engine mission was to take them a K-47 and nuclear payload over the mountain to the 263 battalion. Needless to say, there was a plenty of opposition. Do you think that stopped little engine? No, he kept chugging along. Chugga, 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 chugga. Two, two. Was it when, even when they climbed on board of the train and pop up the eyes of conductors and blood was dripping from his eye sockets? Think that stopped little engine? No, he kept chugging along. Chugga, 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 chugga. Two, two. It wasn't until they rigged the bridge with plastic explosive. And when little engine made his way across the trestle, boom! An explosion happens. And blood and guts and spin and ass was everywhere. 
Booba come crawling on his back. Lula May, baby boy. He look at me and say, I can feel my legs. And I say, Booba, they ain't there. And I look down at them. There was little bloody knobs kick real fast like that. And I say, Booba, it's 30 miles to the nearest town. And if you can flip upside down and walk on your hands, you ain't gonna make it. All of a sudden, Charlie was all over the place. Just me and my sidearm. And I have no other alternative but to blast my way out. Ah! Die, pigs! Die! You never take major bands on Vinnie for pain alive. Ban, ban! I saw what you did to my friends. Ban, ban, ban! Ban, ban, ban!